Hello, this is Yas Lee from ACP Business One Solution Architect team. Um, in today's session, uh, we are going to learn um, how to troubleshooting uh, the Business One solution, uh, mobile solution. Um. So first of all, and I would like to point you to some very important information about the mobility uh, with Business One. So, and as you can see there, we have uh, uh, central information uh, for the mobility with Business One. If you open this link, and you will be able to find an order of information about the mobility with Business One. And then you can find the latest information about uh, the version 1.1 and the new feature in, in, in 1.1. And then you can have the note about to how to um, set up for the multiple, um, enable multiple database for the iPhone application there. And specifically, you can learn more about the licensing, about the FAQ, about the mobility, and then you will see the demo, the live demo um, published um, on YouTube, and then there as well. And then you also can learn about um, uh, the configuration. How can you uh, configure your own um, demo um, system for your mobile application? And then how can you set up um, the uh, develop the mobile add-on solution as well, and the sample code here as well. Okay, and again, this is the um, official central information about the mobility of Business One, and then you can get all the late, all the after-date information about the mobility of Business One um, here. So just remember um, the link um, here. And then secondly, and I would like to introduce um, you. Uh, um, there are three important and useful SAP notes uh, for the troubleshooting, um, and thanks to my colleague Lisa. And they consolidate an order of troubleshooting um, guide into the following uh, important uh, free notes. And the first one, it is the uh, it is about the um, um, troubleshooting guide about the B1IC installation of all about the B1IC installation. Um, and the second one is about the um, troubleshooting for the dashboard and cockpit. And lastly, and uh, is about the um, mobile solution um, um, troubleshooting here. And then you recommend to um, have a look at this note uh, for the troubleshooting um, there, and then learn more about there. And in the following session, I would like to go through um, the note uh, for the mobile uh, solution and go through the um, the specific um, 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 problem issue there, and then um, to um, to uh, learn together there. Okay, and then let's have a look at the uh, the note um, for the mobile troubleshooting. So, uh, first of all, I would like to um, talk a little bit about the the first um, issue, uh, the first error, um, the one of the most common error uh, you used to get uh, from your iPhone application there. That is the connection uh, fail, and mostly uh, connection fail indicates um, something uh, maybe general. Um, network a connection issue, or maybe some um, long configuration um, against your B1I server um, or in the device as well, or maybe the um, uh, integration service not started. Um, okay, let's go through the checklist and one by one. The first one is you need to be sure um, the the B1I C uh, backend server or the JS um, has been. And set up the right uh, the right address in your mobile device there. Um, if you go, if you have a look at here, um, this the uh, configuration uh, for the iPhone application. You need to in order to use the uh, in order to connect to the um, uh, your back back backend business one. You need to enter the the right B one IC server and the port and then whether uh, you are enable. The SSL connection or not, so it depends. So the first of all, how can you note? How can you find out the right B1I server here? So um, you can find it, find out your 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 own mobile um, B1I server uh, f uh, by going to the integration framework. You can launch the integration framework from the program start there, and then just giving your you be one admin um, username and password there, and then, okay, and just click the menu maintenance, and then there is a menu in the left panel, and configure runtime here, and the configure runtime um, here will show you the B1i server inf information, the B1i server 
uh, IP address or host name or the port uh, for the B1I HTTP is um, connection and the port for the HTTP connection there. So you need to be copied this B1I server uh, from here to put it into your um, iPhone uh, application um, app setting for the server there. And for the port, uh, for the port, um, it depends. Okay, as you can see, the port um, um, here settings here. So how how can I note? Um, I'm using secure connection or non-secure connection in my B1I server. Okay, you just um, go to the click the menu scenarios and then authentication and then just um, just um, choosing the authentication identifier as mobile package and then we can have the information and about the authentication setting uh, for for the uh, default mobile um, uh, package there. So as you can see um, there, uh, for for my um, for my setting, uh, for my B1 I, B1IC server there, for my for my um, B1 mobile package there, the enforce secure transport um, is true. Well, actually, um, since the patch um, 8.81 patch zero, um, by default, um, um, this. Um, the secure transportation is enabled uh, by default uh, from SAP. So mostly, um, most of the case, if you're using the 8.81, and then by default, this setting is um, is true here. Okay, and then you also can see the um, t 